Hey, if you thinking to plot your data as a bar graph, then it's very easy to plot bar graph like this. But in this video, we'll not only learn how to plot bar graph, but we'll also learn how to customize this bar graph. Customize like this, like this, or like this, and many more. There are so many parameters you can control in this bar graph. So all these things about this bar graph, we are going to learn in this video. So without wasting time, let's quickly get started to video. Hey, this is Mudraj and you're watching Learning Vibes. Welcome to another video on video lecture series on MATLAB tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how to plot bar graph and how to control various elements in bar graph. So to start with, we'll write a small script, we'll create a data to produce a bar graph. So for that, I will write a small script. And here is my variable x. Now I'm going to plot bar graph for this variable x. And let's run this thing. Add to path. And this is our bar graph ready. It would look appropriate if we give name to this axis and some title to this bar graph, right? So let's go through how we can give label to this axis and title to this bar graph. For that, close this thing and come here. Now I'm gonna write command to give title x label and y label, and there we go. Now, if you want to learn how this each of the command works and want to know more details about these commands, I have prepared a separate video for that. Just go through that thing and you will learn all the details about these elements. Here in this video, I'm not going to discuss all these things in detail because that I have already discussed in some previous video. And that is also very interesting where you can control all these elements, right? So just go there, watch that video and learn all these things. Now we'll move ahead. We'll run this thing. Now you see, this is our bar graph. Many times it's possible that tip of all these bar graphs are very close to each other and the difference is not clearly visible. So in that case, you need to zoom the vertical axis. So how to do these things, I'm going to show you now. So there we go. For that, you need to write command axis, x minimum, x maximum, y minimum, and y maximum. The minimum value of vertical axis is 11, and the maximum value is 17. So I have kept minimum value 10 and maximum value 19. For horizontal axis, there are six bars, right? So the maximum value on horizontal axis that I want to see is more than six. And why it is like this? I'm going to tell you just now. So for that, we'll run this thing. And now you will be able to see the zoomed vertical axis. So this is how you can zoom the vertical axis. Now let me show you why I have kept length of x plus one. Length of x means this length. Six elements are there in length of x plus one. So I'll be able to see space after this bar graph. For example, if I remove this plus one, what will happen to this graph? Let me show you that. I remove this and run this thing. See, if I have removed this, you can see like this, right? So this bar is not fully visible. So to achieve that fully visible bar, I'm adding plus one and there we go. This is the vertical zoomed bar graph. Now just imagine what if you want to change this fill color in this bars. You don't like this blue color and you want to make it red. So what to do? Just close this thing. And now we do not want this zoomed axis. So we'll just comment it and all the necessary changes we are going to apply in this bar command. So comma, R for red color. If you do not want to just write R, you can even write red. Just run and there we go. The color of this bar graph is changed to red. If you want to write in short manner, for yellow color it's Y. Just run 
and there we go here we have yellow fill in our bar graph and it's red so whatever color you want to fill in this bar graph either you can write full name of that color or you can write a short representative letter if you want to know more about which are the possible colors that we can add into this let me show you that for that you need to write help bar and here the possible colors red green blue yellow magenta cyan black and white so whatever is your preferred color you can choose it from here now let's run it again you can see from here the width of this bar graph the default value of the width of this bar graph is 0 0.8 you can change it between 0 to 1 if you go beyond 1 this adjacent graphs overlap each other and we do not want that thing that is why we do not go beyond 1 so now we'll change the width of this bar graph just close this thing uh, just imagine instead of 0 0.8 I want to go for 0 0.4 the half of the width and let's run this thing It's clearly visible that the width of this bar graph has reduced right now Let me make it 1 so Instead of the 0 0.4 I'll make it 1 and You can see all this bar graph are fully touched to the next bar if you go beyond one then they will start overlapping let me show you that let me add 1.5 and run and see all these bar graphs are overlapping and this is not the good way to represent any bar graph so that is why we need to keep the width of this bar graph in between 0 to 1 So it's 0 0.8 and it looks very decent. Now over here you will be able to see that the edge color is black and you can control this property too. If you wish to change the color of this edge of this bar then you can do it. So let me show you how to do it. Close this thing and come back to the bar command. So this is the command edge color and I am providing a blue color. Let's run this thing. You will be able to see a bluish color over here. Right. So this is how you can change the color of this edge. Not even the color but you can even change the width of the edge. How to do that thing? Let me show you. Let's run the command is line width. Now the width of this border has increased and you can easily see it. But this combination does not look good, right? So instead of this blue color, let me make it black. This is decent, right? This is looks appropriate. So you these are the different parameters. Just imagine that you want to reduce the width. Then just make it 0 0.5 and run it. It's reduced to 0 0.5. So these are the various parameters which you can control in this bar graph. This bar graph is vertical bar graph. But you want to represent this bar graph horizontally. So for that you need to make a small adjustment. So let me show you that thing. So instead of this bar you need to write bar H. So X level will change to amplitude. Let's make it amplitude and let's make it number. Right and let's run it. So the bar graph is horizontal now. So to plot this horizontal bar graph the command is bar H. Now let me show you all the details that we have learned in this video in one complete figure. So let's close this thing. What I'll do, I'll just make it comment. And I'll write a separate script for that thing. So there we go. This is the script. And here in this one picture, I'm going to show everything that we have learned in this video. So there we go. 
So this is what we have learned in this video. We have started with bar graph, then zoom graph, then how we can change the color of the graph, how we can change the width of the graph, how we can change the edge color, how we can change the edge width, and finally how we can plot the horizontal graph. Hey guys, if you want to download the script, then you need to join our telegram group. In that group, I have already posted the script. You can download that script from that telegram group and make all the necessary change whatever you want to make and you can use it for your own stuffs and if you find any difficulty and doubt in plotting these graphs just write your doubts in comment section i'll try to solve your doubts as soon as possible now before moving ahead there is a quick brain test of you i'm going to ask you a question and you need to write the answer in comments below your question is this which of the following command is used to change the border color of bar graph and your options are this just think imagine try to remember whatever you have learned in this video and then try to write answer in comments below hey for more info on our currently ongoing video lecture series or latest information about upcoming webinars and expert talks keep checking on my youtube channel learning vibes there you will find all the latest and important information. In next video, we are going to learn how to plot bar graph for multiple data set like this. How to plot selected data from this multiple data set like this. So there are so many things we are going to explore about grouped bar graph in our next video. So do not forget to watch that video. So I'll see you in next video. If you want to learn more things about MATLAB, just write that thing in comment section below and I'll try to make videos on that topic. The link of our full MATLAB playlist is provided down in description box below. So until we meet again in our next video, till that time, bye bye.